So this video is going to be an introduction to the glove box. So here's the glove box in the 410 lab. I'll kind of highlight some of the different parts of it. So here is the vacuum pump. This is what will be used to uh, evacuate the antechambers, which are here, here, and here. There are the valves for those. So this is the valve that <coughs> evacuates the small antechamber. Here's the refill valve for the small antechamber, the refill valve for the large antechamber, and the uh, evacuation valve. So the, the valve to the vacuum pump, you can see this tube can follow it to the vacuum pump. <coughs> and so this is the pressure gauge for the, for the glove box. This is for the atmosphere inside the glove box. Here are the gloves. This is a foot pedal to control the pressure. So the right side decreases the pressure, and the left side increases the pressure. See how it's like those pedals there. There's also a blower fan, and that is the purge valve. There's a light up here under this metal box. Put that switch there, you can turn it on. And there's a plexiglass panel on the top so that it can shine through and light up the inside of the glove box. Kind of going around the side here, we have the purifier pack here. So this is the component that maintains the atmosphere in the glove box. It's in our gas feed line and the pressure gauge for it. This pressure gauge should be at 25 psi, which it currently is at. And we've got power, power inlet for the glove box, which is plugged in here. Um, various other power ports. And here you see our inner gas line going into the um, pressure manifold on the front. So what do some of these other things do? Um, the manual purge valve is so that we can um, remove atmosphere from the glove box and replenish it with fresh stuff. So if we need to, we can um, just open that valve and let atmosphere out while it will push fresh inert in. So that's important for maintaining the health of the um, catalyst. Uh, see in the glove box, gloves themselves, and a balance, and a strip link. So here's a quick look at the glove box in the Haydn lab. Um, you see it's a double uh, port, or I guess double station glove box. There's four gloves here so that two people can work in it at a time. Um, we also have um, a trace oxygen meter. Ports. You can see here ours has uh, a single selector for evacuation or refill, which prevents having both of them on at the same time, unlike the one down in the 410 lab. We have the large port there, 
There's our glove box logbook. And then, some lights on in there, and you can see we have a lot of different chemicals stored in here. The bottom of our glove box is lined with aluminum foil. This makes cleanup easy when it's, uh, uh, you know, if glass gets broken or if a chemical gets spilled. Um, just general usage, you uh, replace it every now and then when it gets a bit too dirty. It's just a convenient way of doing that. Our balance, we just have various um, solvents that are kept in bottles that are tightly closed as well as some in Strauss flasks with Teflon stoppers. Uh, various other things here as well. And ours also has a freezer here so that we can um, store things that need to be kept cold. Um, our freezer is currently operating at minus 30. arm in this glove here so I can show you the inside of the freezer. So you can see there's our little freezer. of a general overview of the larger glove box currently being used under in a research setting.